what is up guys welcome back to a brand new video and right now i am doing a webcam something i rarely do i don't know why i just got off the shower so my hair is a bit wet but anyways breaking news on dc fandom part two most of you didn't know there was a part two i did but i didn't really care because it wasn't really gonna get into new things but anyways in part two they 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 mentioned they talked about behind the scenes of the Snyder cut. They talked about the Flashpoint, but in this video, I'm only gonna talk about the Flashpoint. Why? Because I'm wearing my Flash shirt. You know, for me, Flashpoint is or that's not even the official title yet. It might just be the Flash or you know something. So, my most hyped up movie of the of these next years is the Flashpoint because I love the Flashpoint paradox storyline. That's one of my favorite storylines. Like, if you ever know me personally, then you will always hear me talk about the Flashpoint. And, anyways. So, Barbara Muschietti talked. She is the producer and wife of the director, Andy Muschietti. And she is working on the film. And she talked a little bit about what's going on. And she said something like, they are planning on, on you know, resetting the universe but not like resetting as you think. So a lot of people saw this and thought, oh, they're going to reboot DC. And that's not what, what she meant at all, in my opinion. I think what she was trying to say, because she also said they were going to bring in old and then bring in the new. What I think she's trying to say is everything exists. So Ben Affleck's Batman, he's not going to be rebooted. Robert Pattinson's Batman still going to exist. And... Basically, they they mentioned that they're going to toy around with the multiverse because Jim Lee and DC, Warner Bros., everyone, they've confirmed that every movie ever made by DC, whether it's the 80s Batman films or, you know, Adam West Batman or the old Superman films, uh, the CW, everything is now connected if you think about it. It is a multiverse. Now, they are different universes, like the movie universes. Are gonna be like Joker's Joaquin Phoenix's Joker takes place in a different universe from, you know, Robert Pattinson's Batman and you know the regular DCU that we have or CW. They all take place differently, but they can. It, they are in different universes. Like Flash could easily time travel and um, travel into the universe that Joaquin Phoenix's Joker is in. And now, uh, I'm really hyped up with this concept. They are really gonna mention you know, a lot of the multiverse. I don't know how much they're going to talk about later on. I don't know the plot of the film. So if you're someone that, like me, who loves the Flashpoint storyline, don't go into this film, you know, thinking you're going to get exactly that. Because Andy Muschietti has confirmed that his story is based on the Flashpoint, but it's not the Flashpoint. Now, they take ideas from the Flashpoint, but they make their own thing. And a lot of fans have been complaining about this because they're like, oh, well, you're just taking a comic book and then t changing it. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I want to see what another person has, you know, what they want to build. And I don't think every film should be like the comic books. I've said this before. Something comic book fans have to learn to realize is, you know, movies can't be exactly like comic books or they'll just take away what makes movies special. Like, BVS was based off of the death of Superman and the Dark Knight Returns. It's like, you don't have to make exact copy of copy of comic books. That's just frustrating. Now, I understand getting ideas from comic books because that's fine. That's fine. You're using comic book characters. I just don't like copy-paste, you know, comic books. But anyways, this is what we know from the Flash film so far. Things that we do know is it will be about flat. This this is from Andy Muschietti. This what I'm saying is not predictions. These are things that he has confirmed, and what he has confirmed so far is what he has confirmed is he will be going back in time to saving his mom, and it's gonna be a really heartfelt film. You know, he says there's a lot of heart to it. There's a lot of emotions. He also said that the film is not either too light or too dark. It's like kind of in the middle because. A lot of people were like wondering why a previous director, because for those that don't know, this Flash film was supposed to come out 2018. This film has been <laughs> stuck in limbo for years. And like just last year, I didn't even think they were going to go through with the Flash film. I was like, yeah, they're not going to do it. They're, they, It looks like they don't know what they're doing because Warner Bros. was hiring multiple directors. And I think Andy Muschietti just came in like a few months ago and finally wrote a script. 
and the previous director actually said they didn't want him because it was too light apparently he wanted a back to the future type of flash point film which sounds fun and interesting but i don't know i trust andy muschetti out of all the directors there's even one point where they were thinking of making ezra miller director and star and i don't know ezra miller much if he's a director or not i only know him as an actor but you know i prefer andy muschetti he has more experience i mean the it chapter one was a phenomenal film and he knows how to balance light and dark tones i mean just watch it 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 chapter one is one of my favorite horror films of all time and in that film it's not just complete full-on horror it's also you know emotions raw emotions and it's one of the best horror films in recent years and if you know me that you know i hate the recent horror movies because nowadays they're just lazily made produced the studios don't really care about them they just you know anything. and that's why i trust andy muschetti with what he's doing um i don't know i don't know much if he will be able to capture the flashpoint film the way we the audience wants but i do have trust in him but we have to wait till 2022 to see what he asked for us i can't wait for that first trailer which won't come out in a long long time probably late 2021 since the film's due for July 2022. But anyways, another another few things that we do know that are confirmed, Ben Affleck will be returning as a Batman in like a I don't know if he's going to play a major role, probably a smaller role. I'm not sure, but Ben Affleck is my favorite Batman and I just can't wait to see him again. And now another 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 Thing that we do know for sure is Michael Keenan's return as Batman. Yes, that's right, fellas. Two Batmans, two in one film. And for all we know, there could be multiple Batmans because what we do know is this film is going to be about the multiverse. You know, Flash trying the multiverse because you know Flash is a multiverse character. He's a he's what Andy Muschietti has said is he is the bridge to all the DC films, you know, the CW, the 1980s Batman films, you know, Joaquin Phoenix's Joker, Robert Pattinson's Batman, all those different universes, you know, maybe even Nicolas Cage's, <laughs> Nicolas Cage's Superman film that never went through, you know, there's just so much potential, and not only that, but they could be going into universes that have never been shown on screen, like, maybe he'll meet another version of The Flash we don't know, maybe, I don't know, and, and one thing that I feel like will be for sure happening, but has not been confirmed, is Eobard Thawne in this film as the main antagonist, you know, the reverse Flash. And, you know, Flashpoint, everyone knows that Eobard Thawne is like the antagonist of the Flashpoint films. Did I say films? The comic books. And even in the CW, although I didn't really like the CW's version of it, it just didn't feel like Flashpoint in a way. I mean, it was uh, like how they decided, you know, switch up, switch things up. But, you know, oh, 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 oh. anyways, that is all Barbara Muschietti and Andy Muschietti have said so far of the Flash film. I do assume that Reverse Flash will be the villain. But considering this is only loosely based off of the Flashpoint, then I don't know. May more than likely, yeah. But I cannot sit here and t confirm it. But what is confirmed, Michael Keane, Ben Affleck is returning and the movie will center around flash saving his mom and you know changing up the timeline you know i'm i'm really intrigued and lots of people another concern that's been going on is people being like flashpoint is something you typically built up to not a film that you make the first film and me for me i'm like i mean we haven't i'm fine with flashpoint because there's more storylines that are more much more groundbreaking i mean for me, Flashpoint is my favorite Flash storyline, of course. But, you know, there are multiple other villains Flash has. You know, we can introduce Zoom, Godspeed, you know, in future films. You know, this, and also, you know, it. this story seems like it's going to be fun, it's interesting, and it sounds brand new. Like I said, I'm not someone who wants copy-paste comic books, even though I grew up with comics and I enjoy I love when they reference comic books, but I don't like when they copy-paste film comic books. I think the only film that that has worked for for me is Watchmen. And, yeah, that's that's really it for the video. Comment down below, what are your thoughts on the Flash film? Do you think Eobard Thawne will be the main villain? I think for sure he will, but I can't be completely, completely for sure. But yeah, let me know what are your thoughts on on the news on what the Flash film is supposed to be. I don't know. We don't even know the title yet. 
I'm going to assume they're going to call it the Flash Point. But for all we know, it could just be the Flash. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and peace.